Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51, second round match between Perivale and his professional elves, and Oldrot and his Nurgle. Um, Oldrot is down TV, that's not good for the Nurgle, is it? Nurgle want to be the uh, want to be the dominant team, and being down a bribe, a babe, and a wizard. Yeah, that's this is it's going to be tricky. They're in a bit of a pickle. Is he got? He's got just a tackle, just a tackle warrior. He must have skilled up in the previous game, and he just gave him tackle for this match. That's uh, that's pretty brutal, isn't it? And apart from, he's like the only tackle on the team. Yeah, he's literally the only tackle. No, no, the ball carrier's got tackle. And unfortunately, extra arms. The elves don't have stats. No, you're correct. Correct. They've got three guard, but uh, and loads of blodge step. So, you know what? Five blodge step. It's uh, it's, and <laughs> I'd really rather be the elves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not the best elf team ever, but you know, they don't need to be, right? They, bl blood step and guard is, is good enough to win most games, to be fair. It's just for like Chalice. I like to see something a bit more exciting, like uh, Rick's elves. Did extra arms Im did have an impact at it? Pickup was a two. We, we'll never know if, they, if, it, if it affected the actual pickup. Maybe since the next dice roll was a one. Yeah, but it's pretty bad not making removals. And I mean, you know, he hasn't really got a killy team. He's he's almost got nothing here. It's just again, it's just the pilot claw palm. Can the claw palm win it by himself without a tackle? Very unlikely. This is looking. Uh, Desperate for the Nergs. But you never know. It just takes some dice rolls, doesn't it? Is Perivale coming in for the foul? It sure looks like it. He's got a dirty player. And he's got two assists. Oh, three assists. And he's definitely coming in for the foul. Okay, well now, Old Grot's one out <laughs> is out of the game. <laughs> so, yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's looking, uh. It's looking pretty terrible. I mean, there's no real, like, you know, superstar sackers or anything for the elves, so it's not like they can just come and take the ball whenever they want. But, you know, they can get in the way with blood step and everything. Sorry, we are going to watch till the bitter end, Pedro. Every sorry minute of this uh, inevitable victory. <laughs> Ooh. Blitzing a guy could have blocked. That's not how he max blocks. Do you know what he could have done here? Well, I say he could have done. Could he have done? Um, block this guy and chain... Like, double chain this guy into here. Ah, uh, well, that's not good anyway because he's not part of the cage. <laughs> he could have chained him in there, but then he probably hasn't got enough. But it would have been pretty cool to have, uh, if if the cage was here, <laughs> could have chained him, like, through. But, I mean, he could have chained him onto there still. It's not, it's not going to do anything. So. Interesting to, like, kind of waste the blitz. Because, like... You know, he could have just blocked him. No, 
dodging. Dodging for a foul on the beast. Wow. See, that dodge could have been a 2D blitz, right? But I, so I guess that's why he did the blitz, so he'd have an extra assist on the foul. But still, if he had just blocked with that guy who started next to him, then he could have blitzed this guy and then not had to dodge. And conserved a reroll. Might have been better. Also, obviously, another knockdown is another chance to hurt somebody. Stopping him blocking back. I mean, I don't think the beast is the only threat. I don't think there's any threat now. <laughs> I just literally think there's zero threat. Apart from random removals like this. And look at that, another point where... Another point where had he knocked that guy down, he doesn't get to make that block, and that guy doesn't get cast. And Apple, he still got the apple, so you know... Didn't max blocks that turn, got punished with the uh, with a chasm and that ball gone. A movement for really stupid player is not is not a threat. Oh, but the elves, the beasts are good against elves. No, they're not. <laughs> they're so not. They're so not good against elves. You know, it's it's like a it's like a Reddit tier take, you know, saying that be so good against elves. Somebody who's never actually played the match, self-confessed bad at Blood Bowl, chirps in with a comment of how to help people. Technicals is terrible. The beast is terrible against uh, the beast is terrible against elves. Tentacles is fine. Tentacles on a warrior, or tentacles, you know, on a chaos warrior or a no warrior is totally fine. But beasts are terrible against elves. You've got a movement four guy who needs a, uh, someone to help him do anything. It's just awful. Yeah, Beasts are brilliant against double strength busted dwarves. Well, there's another Kaz. Well, there you go. Not playing sailing for Paravale. This is the out. Just rando Kaz. Uh, you know, random pals and Kazes. Yeah, the thing switched there for no apparent reason, didn't it? There's another pal. Although, to be fair, it was the ball carrier who's got tackled. So this isn't really a cage. <laughs> gonna chain the ball carrier somewhere. Or just gonna one day. Oh wow, the double skulls. There are indeed dice here. Yeah. Well, there's a random removal. Oof, brutal scatter. Sorry, Poggler, and any other disciples of Dio. Um, as you can see, the fact that the Nurgle are down four players and the Armour 17 without Mighty Blow are down two players. We've got a bit of Thomas T. stepping going on here. <laughs> and obviously this one's less into danger. Just done it, yeah, Pogler. There were dice in that game as well. This is looking remark remarkably similar, to be fair. Though at least the, the Nurgle are doing some damage in this one. I 
I think Olgrot's playing quite well here as well. You know, he's given himself a chance to do something. Like, he hasn't got much chance, right? His team's so inferior. But I think he's uh, more or less doing the right things to give himself a shot. I would have sized up on the ball there, I think. It's a pretty nice place to have your guard, and uh, you know, the, the scatter could just win you the game instantly. Yeah, I imagine that the warrior skilled before this game, so he just gave him tackle to have a chance. Oh, there you go, just roll the 4 plus pick up, no problem. I imagine he took tackle to just give him something. I think I would have gone to the fireball here. I know the fireball's, you know, basically worse than the bolt. But again, I feel like you have to get so lucky. You might as well go for the fireball and try to get even more. You can continue moving after a failed foul appearance, but it's popular. We discovered. We discovered. Uh, we discovered last cast. The win Blood Ball 3, you won't be able to take the action at all. So it's a huge buff to uh, foul appearance in Blood Ball 3. Now he goes for the uh, scatter sidestep. Makes the pick up. Uh, the problem is now, of course, he's definitely not scoring. He's just got to try and defend the nil nil. So he does the right play of not of not you know not potatoing away. No, definitely not a buff to Nurgle. Nurgle are horrendous. Nurgle are horrendous at the ball three. Another one. -er. Loves his one Ds, doesn't he, does Peravale? I feel like with the team advantage, I would have been trying to get two Ds. Honestly. Keep the uh, beast on the ball, I guess. Oh. Yeah, this is unfortunately shit. <laughs> oh, what? Okay. That's funny because I would have I would have put the guard there and blitz from here and pushed him up to here, rather than down. It's funny, isn't it? I would have pushed him up to there because he can block him down. Interesting, super interesting. To the point where I was completely bamboozled by putting him there. Super interesting. Don't know which one's correct. And what's both super interesting and also completely uninteresting about football is nobody will ever know what the optimal things are. <laughs> so. There you go, Pogba. There you go. Great analysis. <laughs> Mr. Throw. Nope. Don't. Loves his wandies, doesn't he? Juan Dice. Loves the Juan Dice. I don't even know what the point was either, but there you go. Does a 1D for some reason, 
and then uh, goes that right. Good. Why? So it was in a way not not that bad a half for Olgrot. He he got in nil nil, used his wizard, and didn't score on his own offense. But at least he's not one nil down. <laughs> <laughs> Made three cars and Apo used, so four cars total. But there's still 11 L's, which is a bit shit. <laughs> yes, Pogler, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he is playing well, yeah. I agree. Great total frias. And he's just bribe. God. <laughs> Both inducements gone. Scraped a nil nil <laughs> on his own half. Jesus Christ. And and has played well, yeah, as you say, like that's actually it's actually like this actually feels pretty good. <laughs> yeah. And now he's down men. Outnumbered by Proels. Good. I don't know why he didn't disengage from the LOS. And the babe didn't wake up the farmer. Oh, God. Yeah, with the, with the, with the Quake Snap, I would have definitely moved everybody off the beast. Like, you've got to base the beast in case there's a blitz, right? But I would have just put a rookie lineman on him. And then, uh, and then two people off, and then just dodge them away. But uh, and Daka, Daka, Daka. But I don't like one D's as much as Paravale does. So he probably just thought, if I do this, I can make a one D. And that was the uh, that was the deal breaker for him. <laughs> <laughs> Banter. Yeah, this is the half dacker, isn't it? This is like the elf. This is like the old elf stall, which people have done for years. You know, where you have your your team here and a ball back, and it's just shit. You know, it's just I hate this. I've always hated the elf stall. I feel like the elf stall is absolutely terrible. I've always hated the elf stall, but I love the dacker. Funny, isn't it? It's a funny old game. Perivir <laughs> should try dwarves. Blockless block. I could have set up a 2D here, right? Because they've both got guards, so we could have assisted there and 2D'd with block. Or 2D'd with wrestle. I oh, was just going to dodge away. Okay. Okay. Goes for the defenseless guy with mighty blow. Rewarded with the removal. I have to say, no offense to Paravale, because he's often in chat and everything. I think Olgrod's played this way better than Paravale. But unfortunately, unfortunately, the team disparity is almost insurmountable. Choosing Nurgle. 
Nurgle are fine if he'd had 500 more TV. He just didn't play Nurgle enough. Yeah, you need to play more games like the. Uh, you need to play more games with this Nurgle team. Get them ready. If you wanted to do well in Chalice. But you know, maybe he just didn't care about Chalice. I, don't, I haven't seen the name in Chalice before, so maybe he just played some games and randomly qualified. But it's funny because it's like it's the basis of a good team, right? By going block mighty, it, you, you know, there's more chance of finishing your warriors by having block mighty guard. So while while idiotic people have said you get the guard faster by going block mighty, you do get a completed player. Um, you know, well, not a completed, a more powerful player earlier. Obviously, block guard is complete, but block guard mighty is better, isn't it? And if you go block mighty first. If you're going to play the team for a lot of games, Block Mighty is pretty good, but then you go Block Mighty to get the guard. You don't stop without the guard, do you? <laughs> Pogba with a PM. <laughs> I don't think it does annoy him, no. Oh, he's rolled a one. But the ball's not exposed. Can base the ball with a beast here. Very exciting. You can bog though. I'm I'm Blood Balls, Mr. Nice. I actually quite like this. I quite like the play of going for the base and the ball with a beast. Like I know it's kind of stupid, right? You've got to you've got to what this guy would have to GFI one, two, three, four. GFI blitz from the Nurgle Warrior to pow him. And then one, two, three, four, GFI to uh, base the ball, or maybe possibly double GFI to base the ball. But then that gives you like something that can turn him over. Like you have to turn him over here, right? You you, you have to turn him over because if you don't, he's gonna fuck off and score. So I think, and I know you should actually just hand off with me. He actually could just hand off or throw it, but you know if you'd have you'd have two warriors down there that you'd have the warrior and the beast down there so you'd have a couple of disturbing presences could bring a guy around and stuff as well it could have made it pretty tricky whereas this is almost nothing just didn't play the team enough he had, he had a claw pommer but he got killed it's just not a developed team definitely not creepy chorfs <laughs> cruise for chorfs <laughs> and what do you mean by notable? Because Krippy isn't even good at Blood Bowl. <laughs> GBO. Nah, it's not true, but he, I've seen Krippy's very inconsistent. Krippy is very inconsistent. I've seen him play bad a lot more than I've seen other people who play well play bad. If that makes sense. The yeah, Algros got shit on. Depends who's on Discord with him. <laughs> oh, so he moves him out of the way, and now he's going to move him in, and then he can get the beast on the ball. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it's a joke. So I like this then. I like I like that he's he's got the beast on the ball. Like that's gotta be the aim, hasn't it? And it's it's not amazing. It's really not amazing, but at least it gives you something. Hmm. 
Though not much, because it's just an instant 2D to frame. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, it didn't go for the one D. I guess he had no choice to set up the to set up the uh, to set up the chain out. It had to be a two D. <laughs> <laughs> Cursed his luck that he had to make a 2D instead of a 1-up. <laughs> Isn't it better to put that guy 1-up? Surely it's better to have this guy here. And then touch to there. Surely it's better to have him 1-up. Did he not have the movement? Surely he should have been 1-up. I don't like the non-assist coming in first. As a GF5. Yeah. In that case, it was probably uh, ball should have been one back. Then. Pals is bludger. Kaz is in. Oh, baby. Fuwa. Get the beast in the mix. I can see the point of that. I think I still kept him directly above. Man, this is this is good, isn't it? From Olga, really good, really nice. It sure is looking like there's a chance right now, isn't there? <laughs> One D. I mean, you know, not, now he doesn't have a choice. You know, right? but some of the ball sacks, I would have waited for a better chance. Just rolling all the dice. Oh my god. Disgusting. See, he doesn't have an edge 5 elf, but if you just play like he's edge 5 <laughs> and strength 4, then it works. Ooh. Russell. Russell can blitz, and he can 3D with a beast to free up the carrier. Oh. Maybe, maybe you actually put in the Russell here, so that you can chain him out. But then, no, it doesn't matter, because you've got a pal anyway. So no, yeah, wrestle blitz, and then 3D block to get him. Gets the pal. Or I guess you could go like the safer route because you can't score yourself. So maybe you block with a ball carrier and then just GFI with a beast. I guess get the ball and get the ball in. Man, this is really good, isn't it? Oh, really nice. Extra arms coming in clutch again as he rolls a three on the pickup. <laughs> Loads of removals. It's suddenly looking really bad for Paravale. Can he score if he gets really lucky? Maybe. Oh, he's got a leap. He doesn't have to get that lucky. He gets the pow! Oh man, gotta reroll this. Oh god, that's disgusting. That's <laughs> fucking disgusting. Elves only want one thing and it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> God. 
Bomber's back. He's going to make the difference on this one turn. <laughs> Woo! Wow, man, that's ha that's harsh. That fair play to Walgrot, great performance. Um, somebody needs to uh, tell Paravale about two dice, <laughs> how to how assists work, and how to make two dice blocks. <laughs> Just joking, of course. But I think you know. I've, so the the takeaway is like I think those one D sacks would have been all right, you know, in some kinds of in some kinds of situations like you know maybe if you know maybe if the teams are more even but i think with a huge team disparity he was always just going to get better chances and he could have played more patiently and got better chances to sack the ball and stuff and gone for 2d ball sacks rather than the infinite 1d ball sacks that, you know like try to play more positionally for a few more turns break them down get better shots than the ones he was going for continuously though i think there is a time and a place to go for those continuously but, um, I mean, being lucky is definitely the best way to win the games of Blood Bowl, Enzo. <laughs> but yes, he was pretty lucky when he won, for sure. But there you go. Um, yeah, that, was, but that is a real shame for Olga, honestly. I thought he played that great with a much worse team. And, uh... But there you go, he didn't he didn't do it, so con congratulations to Paravale, commiserations to Walgrot. Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.